Yeah, listen, I'm gonna head down to the underground right here. The mad thing is nobody here goes to the shelter when the air raid sirens are going off. I don't understand why. Yes, the beginning of the video could be bloody scary, but we here not to scare you to death, but to transfer experience and say true about situation in Ukraine. But let's start from the beginning. This story began before Mark's trip to Odessa. After the Kahovka dam explosion, Mark changed his plan and arrived in Lviv earlier, and we were happy to meet him in the center. My name's Mark. I'm from originally from Manchester in England. The last six years I've been living in Belfast in Northern Ireland. I met Mark thanks to my YouTube channel. Can you imagine? He just saw my video and emailed me. And we met in person. Guys, I could not even imagine that this channel will give me so many friends. Do not believe that internet is bad, it's wonderful, it connects people. I originally planned to come back this summer to visit friends and to come volunteer uh, at places like the Frontline Kitchen. However, the recent dam explosion being blown up in the Hassan region has changed events. I wanted to come back sooner to go down to Odessa and meet a good friend of mine and try and help if I can with the evacuation effort in the Kherson region. This is very important for me. The situation is very dire. At the moment, I do not see the Red Cross or the United Nations going into help. And do you know what, guys? That day Russia exploded Kahovka dump, United Nations put in the Twitter post about day of Russian language, lack of response and uh, a lot of cautions um, got major backlash for you and in the social media. And even Greta Thunberg rated this organization works as not so high. And guys, it was pathetic. While he was in Lviv, I suggested Mark to collaborate together for my future video in YouTube about his experience. Guys, if you can please hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button, it makes a massive difference for Eugenia's channel. I think it's time for disclaimer. Can it be dangerous to come to Ukraine? Yes, it can. Do we need your help here? Yes, we do, guys. But you need to decide the best for you and check pros and cons before you come. And you know, guys, that at the day of my departure from Lviv to Kamenskoye, I met Mark to buy him uh, tickets, you have seen it from, from the previous videos, and asked him if he really needs to go in Odessa, because I had this strange feeling. I invited him for borscht and truthfully saying try to change his mind about this trip, but... I really want to go to Odessa uh, to get towards Mykolaiv and the Kherson region to help my good friend. Um, I have a good friend down there called Sergei. Right now I see him helping with the evacuation effort, with the floods, and I really want to get there to help him out. We booked a ticket and Mark has gone. And guys, once he arrived in Odessa, unfortunately he became a witness of another mass terrorist attack from the side of Russian Federation. It was the scariest moment of my life. The first night I was there, after being at the animal shelter, um, uh, the sirens go off on my phone, uh, they go off outside, and I'm gathering things for the shelter in the hotel to go underground and I just hear this BOOM! I, just have a, I have a panic attack guys, like it was the scariest moment of my life I think. I was crying, my chest was constricting, it was horrible. Yes, and I do understand Mark. When I heard explosions for the first time on 24th of February, it was the scariest morning of my life. And I saw so much destruction it was horrible we would spend the day volunteering uh, cleaning children's prams strollers and giving them the help that they need at the humanitarian center it was very rewarding work you guys will ask yourselves should i come to ukraine and help 
I will not tell you to go against any of your government's travel advice, but you can come to Lviv and have a safe trip. When I was in my hometown in Kamenskoya, I told my mom that Lviv is most relatively safest place to live. And the day I arrived, Lviv witnessed a drone attack. Our mayor revealed us that it was attack of drones on critical infrastructure. Thanks God, no casualties, only buildings have suffered. He has told us we will rebuild all destructions together. The most important part are human lives and asked not to ignore air alerts. At that time I arrived in Lviv, all trams were operating as usual and I got home in 20 minutes. I've decided to buy a coffee to reduce stress, and I know for sure that Elia will appreciate good Lviv cover. I heard the drone attack in Lviv, and it was a little scary for me. The air raid sirens, they were going off really loud, and in the distance I could hear boom, just like in Odessa. Now, you're probably wondering, do I have any regrets coming here and will I come back to Ukraine? I have no regrets helping the people here. They are the most amazing people I have ever met. They have opened their homes and their hearts to me. And will I come back? Yes, I will come back. I'm sure Mark will come back. He has a lot of courage and kind heart. But I bet he will choose more safest place for the volunteer next time. He is working in McDonald's now in UK because they have a flexible schedule of vacation and I really hope he will be given a raise to the manager. Guys, my friend military mechanic sent us another videos like they using our tools that we bought together. In case you want to support Jane as content creator on PayPal, I will leave uh, PayPal in the description. If you want to join, you are welcome and I appreciate you. Will Russians break our spirit with drone and missile attacks? No. Are we afraid? Yes, we are. But it does not mean we will stop resisting. Thank you guys for watching.